sure how much yarn you need to do this backstitch cast off, but I left about five lengths of whatever the, the width of the knitting is. And this is the method for binding off with the backstitch from right to left. So you'll go up through the first stitch. This is just the way you do it at the beginning. And the rest of it's going to be a little different. And then you'll go down through the second stitch. Now we need to back stitch back to the um, the first peg. So we're going to go um, up through the first stitch. So this first stitch has two passes of the yarn through it. So now we're finished with that peg. So from here on out we're going to be looking at three pegs at a time. So from from this uh, next step is going to be we're looking at the first, second, and third pegs. So we're going to go skip the second peg. Well, when you're going forward you're always going to skip the peg next to the one you just finished. But when you back stitch you're going to be um, stitching into the uh, peg that's right next to it. So this is the peg we finished and so I'm going to skip number two and go down through peg number three. Now I have to back stitch, so now I'm going to go to the one we skipped and I'm going to go up through that one. So now peg one and peg two have two passes through it. So now we're going to be looking at um, the last one we just finished where the yarn is coming off of. We're going to skip the next one. That's now going to be number two and this is now going to be number three. And we're going to go down through the third peg, skipping the second one. And then we're going to go backtrack to the second one. So now the one we just finished is peg number one, so this is one, two, three. So we're going to go down through number three, and up through number two. Now it's, this one's going to be peg one. One, two, three. Down through three. Up through two. This is now peg one, two, and three. Skip number two, go down through three, up through two. So basically, it's always alternating up and down, up and down. So we're going up through two. So when we're going down, we're always going to be skipping the middle peg of that sequence. Peg one, two, three. I'm going to go down through three. Keeping your yarn at the back between the pegs. And then we're going to go up through two. Down through three.
up through to two, three. So we're going to go down through three. Up through two. One, two, three. Go down through three. up through two. You can do this in the round also. So now we're just left with the last two pegs. So um, this one is now peg number one and this would be two and there is no number three. This one has had two passes of the yarn through it so it doesn't need any more. But this one has only had one pass of the yarn. So we're just going to lock it down by just passing the needle through. And when you take it off, it's a, it's a pretty stretchy bind off that resembles the hand knitting cable um, cast on. So when you need a stretchy bind off, this is the one you want.